If you're looking to find the best headphones, then you've come to the right place. My team and I have spent hundreds of hours testing dozens of over-ear headphone models to come up with a definitive list of which ones are most worth buying, all of which are linked down below. Let's get right into it. The best overall headphones are the Sony WH-1000XM5. These over-ear headphones deliver excellent sound quality in every respect, plus great noise cancellation, and we happen to think they look quite nice. Branding is modern and minimal, and they're available in black or a color called a crew. They're also rather lightweight and are supplied with a usefully compact and collapsible carrying case. Get the XM5s if you want the best sound, meaning balanced and smooth sound from the bottom of the frequency range to the very top, with good rhythmic expression that gives music so much room to soar. You should similarly consider these if you want effective ANC. There's virtually no trace of external sound when you have your music going. Finally, get the XM5s if you're big on battery life. These are good for 30 hours between charges with ANC switched on, and that will rise to as much as 40 hours when you turn it off. Recharges take about three and a half hours via the USB-C input on the right ear cup. The only reasons to avoid the XM5s is if you care that these don't fold in on themselves, and also if the MSRP of $399 is out of your budget. But if you want to talk about the best headphones that you can get for the same price, specifically in terms of sound quality, look no further than the Bowers & Wilkins PX7S2E. That's right, we found that these right here deliver the best wireless sound money can buy. These cans give you top-of-class bass energy with a high degree of detail levels, while treble sounds are bright but intentional. The Bowers & Wilkins generate a sizable soundstage that will blow pretty much any listener away. There is a bit of a trade-off when it comes to active noise cancellation quality, which proves good rather than great. That's to say, it will still be perfectly acceptable to anyone who doesn't insist on absolute silence. Otherwise, they feel great to wear, are beautifully constructed with a lot of luxurious sensibilities that make them look even more expensive than they actually are. I especially like the textured fabric and the memory foam filled leather cups. Best case battery life runs to 30 hours, which is about average these days. A 15 minute charge is good for seven hours of playback, which we'd say is a huge perk in terms of convenience. On the other hand, if you do care about the quality of noise cancellation more than anything else, check out the Bose QuietComfort Ultra headphones. They have unrivaled ANC performance with adjustable ANC that will work equally well to neutralize noise across different frequencies so that you can really make those refinements on just how much you want to be tuned into the world around you. They also have Bose's immersive audio feature, which gives a universal specialized audio experience with whatever music source or streaming platform you use. It's basically source agnostic with Bose's software enabling the 360 effect. It sounds pretty spectacular as your music wraps around your head with a few different movement modes to switch between in the companion Bose music app. The appearance isn't anything too special, though they have a collapsible design that makes packing them up a breeze. It's worth noting that we're not huge fans of the call quality, and they're also not the longest lasting headphones with just 24 hours of battery life or 18 hours with the immersive audio feature. Those three headphones are all competitively priced among one another, but if you're looking for the best headphones at the luxury level, we have here the Bowers & Wilkins PX8. With bespoke 40 millimeter carbon cone drive units for a detailed sound across all parts of the frequency range and high-end materials to the utmost comfort, the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 flagship are one of the most sophisticated models on the market with the kind of credentials that audiophiles look for. Bass sounds natural and rich, while it's easy to follow individual elements within the music and pick out different strands of the mix. Mid frequencies deliver an abundance of natural detail and mid-range clarity to make every syllable sound convincingly realistic. And it is those mid-ranges that are really what makes them a pair of $700 headphones. The noise cancellation quality might not fully live up to the price, and they don't have multi-band EQ customization. At least the 30-hour battery life is right on par with category-leading models. On the other hand, the Sennheiser Accentum is our favorite value choice. They can be purchased for under $200. The 50-hour battery life is a real crowd pleaser and makes these mid-range ANC headphones the ones to beat when it comes to longer listening with ANC enabled. We also like how despite being more affordable, they still look quite like the more premium Sennheiser Momentum 4 wireless. There might not be as many bells and whistles with the Accentum, but they're as reliable as you'll find for the price in the headphones category. Price has been a point of contention for these next headphones, the AirPods Max, ever since they launched. 
These remain Apple's first and only over-ear AirPods headphones, aka ones that have nothing to do with Beats. What's nice about them is that they're designed with as much convenience as possible for iPhone, iPad, and Mac users. Besides easy setup and handoff between all your Apple ecosystem devices, we found that there's something to appreciate about the AirPods Max's soundstage across all kinds of musical genres, but our favorite aspect came from spatial audio. This game-changing listening feature is basically surround sound, and it uses built-in head tracking to make sound relative to how you're moving your head or what you're seeing on screen while watching a video. Looks-wise, the AirPods Max come in a fun color range that lends itself well to a retro aesthetic, and this mesh headband is good for distributing weight because, well, these are heavier than a lot of other headphones. No on-off button and the included and completely non-protective smart case are some of the other little quirks with the AirPods Max worth noting. The 20-hour battery life is also just all right when you consider some of the other top headphones that we've recommended. There are other headphones we recommend based on specific needs, such as whether you need headphones for working out or headphones that offer especially effective noise cancellation. But our procedures for testing headphones are always the same. From the design and comfort to the overall sound quality and value, we evaluate several areas when picking the best headphones. Our rigorous review process compares products with similar fit, features, and pricing. Each pair of headphones and earbuds are worn for many hours, and during this time, reviewers evaluate comfort and fit, ease of use, and audio. We test sound by listening to different tracks across music genres, including hip-hop, rock, jazz, classical, and pop. Volume, clarity, and fullness of sound are all taken into consideration for our ratings. Movies, podcasts, and video games are considered when necessary. When it comes to features, we test the active noise cancellation, Bluetooth range, and battery for wireless and wired headphones. Additional features are also tested for app-enabled headphones, along with the ease of setup. Build quality, controls, and fit are taken into consideration for all headphone types. Many factors come into play when shopping for the best headphones, but your decision should always come down to intended use. That being said, you'll want to take certain categories into account before settling on any pair. First, design. Do you want something that looks like luxury or more sporty? Since these headphones will be used for multiple occasions, you want something that best suits your lifestyle. Then there's sound quality. Different models offer different sound, and since you're buying a pair to enjoy music individually, it's really important to find headphones that match your sound preferences, be it heavy bass or distinctively clear to where you can hear the littlest nuances in the recording. Battery life is a big one too. How long do you want your headphones to last? If you're someone who's always on the go, it would be smart to get a pair that can keep up. Other things to consider are the included accessories and, of course, how much you're prepared to spend. You definitely don't need to break the bank to get a great pair of headphones, but you'll likely find trade-offs if you go down the price tiers. We generally like to look at headphones as an investment. With proper care, the same pair of headphones should last you several years to come. Again, all the headphones we've talked about today are linked down below, but let me know which you would go for. We have full reviews of all of these headphones on tomsguide.com, but you should keep it locked to this channel for more buying guides coming very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.